I'm going to show you a fun art project that you can work on with your child when you come to visit. This is homemade puffy paint. Um, so you just need to gather up some materials, um, pretty simple stuff. Uh, you're just going to need some a bowl or a couple of bowls if you're going to do different colors and some spoons for mixing. And actually the supplies that you need to make the puffy paint are some glue and some shaving cream. So these are the basic ingredients that you're going to use to make your puffy paint. If you want to make different colors of puffy paint, you can also add some paint. Okay, so we'll show you how we mix it up using some different colors as well. And you just need some paper or whatever you're going to be putting the puffy paint onto. Um, I'm going to use black and I'll use some white puffy paint on that so I can show you how it can look like you're painting with snow. And we'll use a white piece of paper and that will show you uh, with using some of the color paints. And you just want to have something that you want to apply the puffy paint with. Uh, you can use cotton balls, you can use some paint brushes. We have various paint brushes uh, here, thicker ones, you know, bigger, bigger grips for some of the students. Uh, you can even use some sponges. These are just regular household sponges that are cut up. Um, so you can use them to dip it in the paint as well. Um, you can even use Q-tips as well if you want to do that. Um, or even just use in your hands. You can go ahead with that. So I'll show you how you mix it up. You just want to take some glue. Okay, just want to squeeze some glue into your container. Okay, and I'm actually going to take the top off because it make it pour a little bit easier. So just add a little bit of glue. And then you're just going to shake up your shaving cream and just add your shaving cream. All right, and then you and your child can just mix it together. So it makes a nice consistency. Okay, and we'll actually do two of them so I can show you how to paint with the white and how to paint with one that we can add some color to. And some of the shaving creams have a nice scent also, so that's a nice added bonus as well. When you're working with your child, you can let them smell the shaving cream or hold the bowl up so that they can smell it. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit of paint to the one just to show you what it looks like when we do colors. You can really just use any kind of color so that you can you know, just be creative with what you want to make your art project a picture of. Okay, so you can kind of see what the consistency looks like. And you just want to take whatever paper or whatever you're going to be painting and you just want to dip whatever utensil you're going to be using. So we can use some sponges. You can use Paint brushes. I can make all kinds of nice squiggly lines. You could pretend you're painting a little snow scene. Okay, and it's supposed to look puffy. So when you see that it looks kind of kind of bumpy and all, that's actually what you're looking for. That's that's our end product. Okay, and I'll show you with the colors. We can even use some cotton balls and put it on that way. That's a nice texture. Okay, so you just have fun with it. You can make any kind of picture that you would like. Um, you can even do it on, you know, different um, apparel if you want, or make a little bag. Um, but in class, a lot of times we just we use the different colors of paper. 
Okay, so that gives you an idea of what you can do. And this is the end product. Once it dries, it's actually nice and puffy. So it gives you something that you can look back with with your child on your future visits. You can actually have fun feeling your, your puffy paint. Okay, enjoy, have fun. Hi, we're here to make some sensory tubes um, talking about the different types of weather that you could do with your child when you come to visit. Uh, we have a lot of different uh, tactile materials here that you can use. We will be doing a sunny uh, tube, we'll be doing a windy one, a cloudy, and a rainy. So we were going to start with Sunny. So you could just take any type of plastic bottle. Uh, we have like really large soda bottles here or small water bottles that you can use. And first you just want to uh, fill it up with water. So I'm just going to put a little bit of water here. You can fill it all the way or just a little bit. Um, and so we have some pom-poms. You can use really small ones or really big ones and you're just going to stick the pom-pom in. So that's going to be your sun. And um, so you put any kind of yellow pom-poms in there. And we're going to, you could put a drop of blue food coloring just to give it some more color. Um, and they can shake it up. You can hear the water. It's very sensory. There's water and the yellow pom-pom would be the sun. And if you put some drops of food coloring, it could be the sky. And then we have a windy. Um, you can fill it up with water. And you can put some feathers in here or some leaves just from outside. And some sequins. We have like blue, we have little squigglies. Feathers. And we also have some little sparkly little trees, because trees blow in the wind. So we'll stick some of these little trees in here. You can really put anything in there that will blow in by the wind. And then you can shake it up. And it's really sparkly. And then you can hear all the things rustle in the wind. And that will be our windy bottle. Okay, so now we're moving on to cloudy. So we have our white cotton. You can actually start with water. Pour your water in. Okay, and throw your clouds in, symbolized by cotton. Cotton is our symbol. And you can get any of these materials. Um, whether you get them at the Dollar Tree or Walmart, Target, you know, any of those types of stores. Um, see how the bottle now looks more like clouds, big puffy clouds. And if you wanted to add some sound, you can add some beads. I use clear beads here. Um, so. And again, you can add more water or Cloud. <laughs> okay, now we're moving on to rainy. Okay, so I thought these look like raindrops. These are little gems that I found, I think even at Michael's or AC Moore. Um, I think I added a little bit of water, which this is so much water. And then you can help your child place the objects inside the bottle. You can even, you know, count with them. Do a little counting activity. Okay. And then just to add a little shine. This is just one of those little twist ties. I just thought it would be a neat visual. And this is the ring. It's a nice little soothing bottle for rain. Okay, so um, these are the bottles that we chose to do today for our sensory activity. 
Um, we do have some students that have made um, bottles in the past without water. Some students thrive on listening to the auditory stimulation, the sounds. They may like to angle them up or hit them against them. show you how to make slime with your child um, and you can do it right in your child's room using very simple materials that you probably have at home cornstarch water you can just get from the sink here at BPF any kind of a container and a plastic spoon if you have uh, tempera paint you get this at the dollar store any colors is fine you can use any color you choose um, and a plastic bag so you can keep the slime and use it with your child the next time you visit. And the first thing we're going to do is put some cornstarch in a container. You could even use the uh, pink container in your child's room. Any container will do. Then you're going to add some water and start mixing. It takes a little, little time just to get it to the right consistency of slime. To break it up, make sure you keep mixing. Okay, and you can add a few drops of temper paint. You don't need to add a lot. Continue to mix. Keep mixing. And this will have the consistency of slime. And then when it hits a solid surface, it becomes hardened again, which is great. Make sure you can take your child's hand splints off, let them feel the water, let them feel the cornstarch. This is a little thin, so I'm going to add a little more cornstarch and just kind of experiment with it. With it. You can even do hand over hand with your child and have them mix it. This is really just have fun with your child making this slime. It's something you can keep and, like I said, take out again the next time you visit. You can see the consistency. I'm just going to add a little more cornstarch. when you're finished to wash your child's hands. You can use the wipes in the room and clean off your child's hands. And make sure you let them feel it first. You have them feel the cornstarch, the water, and then the finished slime. All right, and you can see from this the consistency that it has. It's very liquid, but then it becomes like a solid, depending on how you manipulate it. So have your child manipulate it in his or her hands and feel the different textures. Okay, and when it's done, like I said, you can store it right in the Ziploc bag and you can use it the next time you visit. Okay? solid enough so you can pick it up to put it in the Ziploc bag.
Hi, um, I'm here to show you a simple way to do something sensory with your kids when you're here um, visiting and also to help clean their hands or give them something that might um, uh, exfoliate plus um, also moisturize a little bit. So it's pretty simple. It's stuff that you have in your house most of the time probably already. Um, you're just going to need sugar and um, simple oil. You can do any kind of oil, olive oil, um, coconut oil. Uh, you just want to make sure that they don't have any issues with you know, the coconut or anything. But um, this is just vegetable oil, just to show you a little bit. You're going to need a cup, um, one cup, and then you need a half a cup. And then if you want to add something that will um, give it an olfactory um, feeling or just also there's lots of different essential oils that do things for calming, like lavender and things, you can use any type of essential oil you want to give it a little bit of a flavoring or a smell to it. Um, and so we're just going to use vanilla today. And um, I shall show you how easy it is. Um, you just want to put in one cup of sugar. So you're also going to need a bowl. And you could do this at home if you want beforehand and um, mix it up so that it just comes out like this. So you can bring it with you to your kid's room and just um, use it with them. Or you can do it in the room. I mean, it's nothing that you can't find here or uh, get from the, um, from the people at the uh, cooking area, right? So we're going to put one cup of sugar into the bowl and then just one half a cup of oil. And then just a regular spoon. You just want to mix it up till it's pretty, um, pretty evenly distributed through the sugar. Most of your kids will have these at their uh, in their rooms. So if you want to do it here, you can do it inside of there and then just rinse it out. You just want to get this um, sugar mixture right here. Or if you want to do it at home, just go into um, Walmart or somewhere simple. They sell jars that are um, plain and that um, you can get pretty cheap. So if you want to just make up a couple while you're at the house with different scents, then you can bring um, them with you when you come to visit. If you have this mixed up, you just drop in, usually they say about 14 or so drips um, of just one single drop. So I'll show you a single drop. It'll come out usually pretty simple. One, two, right? And three. I'm not going to do all of them because um, we're just giving this as a demonstration. But you want to put in as much as you want. There's really no um, restriction on how many you put in. So just to smell or to um, your discretion, and it will smell stronger the more you put in. And then when you have it all mixed up, you're just going to take it and rub it on their hands. Um, you can use it on their feet or their legs to exfoliate their skin. Um, you just have to realize that you're going to wash it off in, in the bed so you might just, or in their chair. So you might just want to um, do their hands and just take their hand splints off. And then take this and just fill it with some water or some um, soap. And you could just rinse in there, take their hands and just rinse it all off. And then they usually have towels in the room too, so just get a towel and dry them off. And then um, it will be really soft and smell really good. So it's just something that you can do. Um, it's quick and easy that is pretty fairly um, inexpensive. The oils might be the only thing that's on a little bit expensive, but you can find them um, at the Christmas tree shop. They got all of these from there, so they weren't very expensive there. And um, that's all. That's all for the day. I have a really wonderful presentation when you come to visit one of your children, our students here. I decided to do something different this time, and I would like to show you how Braille works, especially for, for students that are, can't read because they're blind. So I came up with an idea that would help you with the activity. And the activity is the name of your child in Braille. So I came up with ideas that you have in your house and also outside. So here we have uh, something that you might be interested in. Are there Cheerios? I'm gonna put this over here. They're Cheerios. 
So you can use Cheerios as letters. Then I have buttons. That's something that you have around the house. Uh, dollar store is really great for different kinds of shapes and, and buttons and things like that. You don't have to spend a lot of money. And think about going outside and bringing in the outside with your students. So I went out and got rocks, little rocks that you can use for, for the activity. Now the activity is really fun because you use braille and braille or dots. So I have the alphabet. And this alphabet is used all over the world. And it, it encompasses six dots. Two, two, two. So you might want to take a look at them. So we decided to write our name, uh, the student's name. So we have one here. Now, if you look at the, uh, the chart, it's really, really easy. But it's really fun with your, uh, with your child. So we wrote names. Here's Braille, and here are the dots. The puffy paint, I, mean, I forgot to mention. One of the, big, the nicest things that you can use is puffy paint. And you can get this in any hobby store. You know, the dollar stores are great for stuff like that. It just takes a little while to dry it. So take a look at uh, what we did here. We spelled out the word mom, and then we used the Braille alphabet and spelled out mom. Have your, have your children put their hands on. Let them feel them, the objects. Let them feel them, put them against their face. So sometimes the paper is rough, the rocks are rough, but it's a sensory experience. And I'm sure that they're gonna enjoy it and you will enjoy doing this with your, with your son or daughter. It's a wonderful idea. And I thought maybe I would like to um, have, have them have the experience. Hello, welcome to our garden. There's a Hello. little garden. This is our fifth year, and our students get very involved in the garden. My name's Andrea. My name's Aubrey. Okay. And we have a lot of different experiences out here. One, our students can, you could bring your, we bring our students out, and you could bring your child out, and they could sit on the bench. They can listen, they can watch the wildlife, the birds, the squirrels, the chipmunks that are around here. Feel the breeze. They can look at the, our mobile. They were made by our art teacher. They can use the hose, they can water the plants. We have lots of herbs and flowers. Okay. Um, often we'll bring the classes out and we will pick different herbs. This one particular one is sage and when you rub it, it has a really nice scent. The students can feel it, they can smell it, they can look at it. Okay, so feel free if you can bring your child and you can take any of the herbs. Another good idea, um, if you wanted your child to feel the soil and you didn't want them to get too messy, you could bring out a bag that they could actually um, touch, put some dirt inside of the bag and they could touch it with their fingers. You could get a Ziploc bag if you didn't want them to get dirty and also have them touch it from the outside. We have a beautiful mural over here. It's very tactile. The kids love to touch it and look at it. Um, and you could just come out, even just and sit in the garden and enjoy the beautiful view and the flowers. Oh, and, and feel free, as, as our plants start growing, as it gets later in the season, feel free to clip off some of the herbs and take oh, them yeah. off. Or if there's some tomatoes or peppers. A tomato or a pepper. Absolutely. And just enjoy it.